Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Bronco. And in this video, we're gonna, it's one of our complete guide videos. We're working our way through the Bronco. We're going to talk about the Big Ben trim in this video. So we're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages and standalone options available on the Big Ben trim. So if you're, you know, have that 22, so you're converting over to 23 order, want to know how you can uh, build this out and uh, update your order you can do that right now with your dealer and this video will help you out with that and if you're looking uh, waiting to get a 23 uh, new order in hopefully they'll be coming in they said they'd say fourth quarter so it could be anytime maybe november uh, so this hope video will help you out with that as well if you're trying to decide between the different trims so of course make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have that notification turned on so you can get all the different videos of this so you can uh, kind of go through these and see which trim is going to be best for you if you're wanting to put in that new 23 bronco order or convert your 22 over so let's go ahead and dive right in we're going to talk about some of the great uh, features uh, available first we're going to get into the mechanical features now we're going to start off talking about some mechanical features and we are going to go to ford's building price because they do have the 2023 bronco building price up and running uh for those that have gotten you know converted to a 22 Ford actually did send an email to most of you with the link to that building price because it's not on the main website. You can't normally find it. Um, but I noticed recently as of, well, as of, I think, yesterday the day before, now if you do click over, you can see it. So let's actually go over uh, to the website over here so you can kind of see what that looks like. Um, so there we go, pulling that up. So there you go. So if you do go over to the SUVs and crossovers, uh, it does say 22 Bronco, but if you do click on the building price, it does actually pull in the 23 build and price configure. So uh, for a while that wasn't there, it was kind of hidden in this URL up here you could find. And then recently they did update it to where if you do click on it, it pulls you right into this. So we're gonna go and talk of course about the Big Ben trim. They do start at 36, 285 this year. Uh, two door and then the four door is 38 275 won't probably get into prices too much in this most of this the prices are in there you can uh, check these out all you want to usually if you click the view details this is where you'd get maybe some of the standard equipment uh, on there and you can see some of the main features some of the little pictures aren't loading for some reason um, and down here you can see some of these uh, features now i'm not sure if it includes all of them that I'm going to cover, uh, but I am using Ford's building price information to give you that. Looks like a lot of that stuff's probably there. Um, so we'll just go through this and jump in here. So we'll go to two door for now to start us off. Again, you can get in two door or the four door configuration here. And so we'll start with the two door configuration. We are going to talk about the powertrain and the mechanical features first. So these uh, standard standard on this is the 2.3 liter. EcoBoost engine, of uh, course, and it comes standard in the seven speed manual transmission. And that's for the two door or the four door version. As we see right here, 2.3 liter included there and the seven speed manual transmission. So now let's go back just to make sure. Um, and on the four door version, because I know in the base it's a little different than the Big Ben. If we go to the, oops, go to the powertrain, 2.3 liter and six seven speed manual transmission that is standard as you can see though uh, for both of those you can upgrade to the 10 speed automatic transmission we'll talk about that in a little bit as well as a 2.7 liter ecoboost engine uh, so those are upgrades uh, again we'll get to that when we get to the optional equipment though also these are going to come standard with your auto start stop technology come up to stoplight stop sign you press the brake it's going to shut the vehicle off uh, of course if it doesn't need any electricity or any power to the air conditioning that kind of thing it will shut it off let go of the brake, it'll turn it back on. Now, there, there is a little button you can press, and that actually will deactivate it for that engine cycle, but you would have to do it each time. This will come standard with the Haas 1.0 suspension system. So that is the high-performance off-road suspension system. Um, and so that's going to be standard along with you're going to get terrain management system with the different GOAT modes. Go over any type terrain is what Ford's coin, uh, phrasing that. You're going to get a normal, an eco, uh, a sport, slippery you get a mud ruts as well as a sand mode uh for the big bend trim so uh, get all those different goat modes that are going to come standard i'll also have of course with all the other vehicles with the base as well electric power assist steering you get the electronic stability control electric parking brake also electronic traction control too hill start assist and for your manual transmission also we'll get hill descent control 
and included and front stabilizer bar. Those are all the same as they are in the base trim if you watch that video. But for those that you didn't, now you have all those mechanical features. So those are all standard uh, mechanical features for the Big Ben trim. We'll get into the different motors and, and such. Uh, you can kind of see the prices there that are available to you. So even on the Big Ben trim, you can get the 27 Eco. And then, of course, you can go to automatic with that. And we'll cover that more when we get to the optional equipment. But let's move on to some of the safety features. Now, before we get into some of the safety features, I will at this point kind of tell you that we will have timestamps down in the description for all these. So if you want to move around, maybe you've seen this already because all the safety features are the same as they are on the base trim. You can uh, use the timestamps to move around in the video all you need to if you want to go to some of the other parts of the video. So diving into the safety features, we do have the airbag system as the uh, driver and front passenger. We'll have a dual stage for an airbag, it plays a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Uh, so that has a sensor underneath the seat so it knows how close you are to that. Also, you get a driver and front passenger side impact airbag. So if you have a side impact to the AB pillar, it's going to deploy the airbag from the side of the seat to protect those in the front seats. Safety canopy side curtain airbag with rollover sensor as well. So if the vehicle is going to roll over, that sensor dictates that, deploys those down to protect you from breaking glass and such and other, um, you know, damage to the vehicle as well uh, as it rolls over so that'll help her keep everybody safe this will get pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking so it uses a front uh, collision warning and brake support to be able to help if there's somebody going much slower than you you're not braking and you would hit them it's going to alert you and let you know to put a puts a little red message on the dash uh, as well as a series of tones that you know that you need to stop so you can pay attention and it preloads those brakes so when you hit the brakes it's going to stop uh, really quick. Also, you do get post-collision braking. So if you're you not know, paying attention or let's say you're unconscious, something like that, and you hit a vehicle, and then it'll actually help brake the vehicle so that way you don't go wandering off into another accident, especially if you're unconscious. That's got a great feature to have there. Advanced track with roll stability control as well to help you keep on your, net, your intended path. Use a series of brakes uh, and torque on the vehicle on those different wheels to keep you going where you need to. Slick driving road, maybe going the curve a little too fast. Uh, that advanced track will help uh, keep you on that intended path. Uh, for the also, there is permanent alarm on the vehicle. So permanent alarm with intrusion and inclination sensors. So what this is going to do is when you have the vehicle locked, nobody inside the vehicle, it kind of gives you that perimeter uh, setup and system. So if somebody you know, opens the doors, breaks the glass, gets inside, it has those sensors in there. It notes that there's uh, intrusion in there, and it's going to honk the horns and flash the lights. Also, if somebody tries to, you know, put a jack under your vehicle and raise it up to try to steal those wheels, it does the same thing. So, uh, honks the horns, flashes the lights. Also, we do have safety, uh, child safety locks for the four-door uh, configuration. So, child safety lock, there's a lock inside that door. That way you can lock that child safety lock out. So, that way the kids can't open those doors when you have the vehicle unlocked. That way it allows you to be able to open it up and allow them to get out when you're ready for them to get out. So uh, those are all of our safety features. Let's go now and uh, kind of look at the kind of the configuration and the look for the Big Ben trim here. All right, now we're going to, as we start talking about the X year, we're going to start with the paint color. So we are in the four-door configuration here. Uh, we'll probably stay with that for the most part. There's only uh, two main differences for the two-door and the four-door when it comes to the X year styling here, uh, of course, other than the doors. <laughs> um, but so we'll, let's look at the colors first here. And look, you see there's a lot of colors available really uh, for this trim. What is that? Uh, 10 colors, 11. So you do have the shadow black available. You have Oxford white. Uh, as you can see, those color changes when we click on them. You do have cactus gray. It does have a greenish hue to it. You do have the iconic silver metallic. And you also do have carbonized gray metallic. And you do have race red. Uh, and then we do have eruption green metallic. So those are the main color there. We do have this and here's a cost color, hot pepper red metallic. It's a tinted clear coat. That is an extra $4.95. Anytime you see the clear coat or you see a tri coat, it's extra. You do have the area 51. So they carry that over velocity blue metallic, which is uh, really good. Cause there's a lot of vehicles that they did take that away from. It's still available in the Bronco for 23. And we do have the Azure Gray, which is a tri-coat. doesn't mention that it's tri-coat in there. That is a tri-coat paint color. That's why it's $9.95 for that one. So uh, pretty cool uh, new color for this year. Uh, so there you go. That's all your colors. So let's move uh, down to the exterior here. We'll kind of click through these images as we go through this so that you can kind of see and, and follow along with this as we talk about this. So the grill first. 
is uh, upgraded grill from the base trim. So it is going to be a carbonized gray molded in color. The design is different than it is from the base trim. You do get the white Bronco lettering as well right here. You do get active grill shutters through there, so that way they'll open and close when you need to. So help cool that engine off when they open it up. When you're going, you know, slower, you don't have that airflow in to help cool the engine off. On the highway where you do have plenty of airflow in there, it's going to close those up to give you a little bit, but a little bit better fuel economy on the highway. Uh, we do have the front bumper, which is a molded in black front bumper, pretty similar to what we did see on the base trim there. Two uh, front tow hooks up up there as well, uh, and then you're going to have one in the back. We'll talk about. On the fender up here, you're going to see the, they are calling the fender tie down hooks. Um, some people like to call them the uh, trail guides and such like that uh, for those lines because it does kind of help you know where that front front corner is up there, uh, as well as you can tie things down to that. You know, like if you want uh, limb, uh, limb uh, wires, you can do that as well. Uh, LED headlights. So full LEDs, which is really nice. And you do have LED fog lights as well as you're seeing those down there in the bumper itself. And you do get auto high beams that are uh, included in this. So auto high beams will uh, turn those headlights on if it's dark enough outside and you have them set on. Uh, if somebody approaches you and they see the lights, it'll shut those off. Now, that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings. Also, configurable daytime running lights can also be uh, flipped on in that setting as well uh, to be able to be turned on. So, real nice. And the headlights are automatic as well. So the auto feature for those so they'll come if you have an auto setting they'll come on automatically when it gets dark shut off when it gets light so uh, those uh, pretty cool features now on the side here we'll keep this image here because it's kind of easy to see the wheels are a 17 inch carbonized gray painted alloy wheel so different wheel that we did see on the base trim the tire is a p uh, 255 75 r17 all season 32 inch tire uh, that comes along with that you do get individual tire pressure monitoring system you get four wheel disc brakes with abs uh, all that comes included you do get the body color or the uh sorry the molded in black fender flares here that are removable you can take those out real easy to just pop those out if you need to same ones as we do see on the base trim there you will see the big ben badging over here on the side as well uh, your mirror caps will be that same molded in black as we do see with the fender flares. You're going to see that as well there. And your door handles will be the same way uh, as well there. Your mirrors will be power heated mirror. Uh, so you will have the heat feature there. Integrated blind spot mirror. And that's an angled mirror so you can see the vehicles in your blind spot a little bit better. You will get remote keyless entry. So you can unlock and lock it using the keyless entry uh, to get in the vehicle. Uh, you do get for the uh, four-door conf configuration here, you are seeing the uh, cloth top. So soft cloth top here that retracts back. Our two little levers inside, so you can flip that back. And you can also remove the back, these windows here. And then you can actually pop it further back if you want to. And you can remove it completely. We'll also come with the hard top uh, prep kit. So that gives you the rear defrost and rear washer if you get the hard top later down the road. Um, for the two-door config configuration, go back to that. Two-door configuration, you can see there, you do get the hard top. So the hard carbonized gray molded in hard top there. You're going to have two uh, panels up here for the front above the, the driver and front passenger that can be removed. Uh, you will have a rear window washer and defroster back there as well. Uh, storage bags for those two front panels when you do remove those. You can store them inside the vehicle. And you do get hard top sound deadening headliner as well on the vehicle. So uh, real nice. You can have that hard top uh, for the two door. Uh, also privacy glass uh, for the second row and swing gate uh, glass. So you can see privacy glass back there. And you do get the easy fuel capless fill the door. It's a double door system. So there's no cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands or anything like that. You just open that door by pressing it and you can just put the nozzle in. So it's real nice and convenient and easy. It is a double door system. So it's a little bit harder for people to try to steal your gas and such. Um, and there is a funnel inside. So if you are at a, you know, run out of gas, you need a gas can. That nozzle won't fit in there. It will not release that, that second door. So you need the funnel that's going to be included. Usually it's going to be in that rear cargo area down with this, where, um, below the, the extra cargo area inside the, the back of the vehicle. Speaking of that, let's move to the back. So there you go. There's an image of that. So back here, you will get a rear window a wiper for the, uh, for this, for the, um, two, for the hard top, I should say. Uh, and then you do get the rear spare tire back here, full size spare, same, it's going to match up wheel and tire and everything to the other four wheels that are on it, which is nice to have. 
rear uh you have a center high center mounted stop light what they call it that third brake light is what i like to call it speaking of that you do have halogen rear tail lights back here too rear view camera that comes out right there where they put the, you put the spare tire on so it's going to come out through there so you can be able to see as you're backing up do so you have the molded in black uh the rear bumper back here just like your front bumper material you do get a tow hook back here hard to see in this image but there's a tow hook right back here one single one uh back there uh let's see what else um trailer sway control is going to be standard equipment on these so if you add the trailer uh hitch then you're going to have that already included uh and also inside when you open this up you do have uh the door handle here so you just swing open that so swing open gate inside you're going to get a rear cargo area light you also get a power point in there and you even get a bottle opener inside on uh, the vehicle as well if you need to pop that open if you're tailgating. So that's all your exterior features that I want to cover. Let's go inside and kind of talk about some of the interior features now. All right, moving to the interior, we're going to keep continue with the uh, two-door version here. And then we'll go back to the four-door to show you what that looks like and how it's different here for the interior. Now, that, now for both the two-door or the four-door, you're going to have illuminated entry. So that means it's going to light up, you know, the lights up here trying when you get in so you can see as you're getting in at night. You will have carpeted flooring front and rear uh, for the Big Ben trim, and you're going to get front floor mats as well, whether it be the two-door or the four-door. Both will get that. You'll see uh, this seven-speed shifter right there. Uh, you're going to get cloth bucket seats up here. So you'll see they are a little bit different material on the Big Ben trim. Very easy clean uh, cloth seats as well. I like them very comfortable. Uh, I have actually have the Big 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 Ben trim on my Bronco and love it. Uh, Six-way uh, manual driver and passenger. So there's a lever underneath the front so it can slide forward back. There's a lever right here that allows that seat cushion to go up and down. And then also this lever here for the backrest. Uh, so that'll be the same configuration for the driver and front passenger seat. Now the two-door in the rear uh, is going to come with a 50-50 split bench seat. As you can see, so a seat in two back there. That backrest, can those can flip down. So you can get uh, access to the rear cargo area or fold it down. If you need to put something a little bit bigger up and over that, you can. Uh, now let's go to the um, four-door version here. So you can kind of see what that looks like. Of course, you can do the building price yourself and see it just as easily, right? But back here on the four-door version, you are going to get a 60-40 split bench seat. Uh, we'll seat three back here. You do have a little flip-down armrest, you can, as you can see. And there is a brake right there. So 60% side, you can flip that down on the driver's side over there. Uh, if you don't need to, if maybe you have three passengers, you can flip that down and give you some extra cargo room. Or if maybe you, if you have four, you could flip down the 40% side if you have something a little bit longer in there. So there you go. Um, and this this seating configuration is going to be the same. Now these the seats on the, the four door version do recline as well. So on the two door they do not, but on the four door they recline back if you want to. Now we do have the latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children. So there's little uh, little hooks down here that you can harness those front and rear facing car seats down into. If you do have a front facing car seat, also behind that back seat there are some some hooks as well, so you can keep that the top part of that back against that seat if there's a collision. Also, for the door locks, there's a front. Uh, I'm going to go to this other image here. So you do have uh, power door locks with auto lock. Those lock door locks are going to be on the doors themselves right here. You notice the power windows aren't. We'll get to that in just a little bit here. You do have the uh, instrument panel cluster here. It's an 8-inch color uh, digital cluster screen. It's a real nice uh, look to it, same as the, the, the base trim a speedometer over here. Uh, you do have the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so a little lever underneath allows it to go up and down, forward and back. You do get leather wrap steering wheel. It's a nice upgrade when you go to the Big Ben trim. Cruise control as well on the steering wheel and redundant audio controls as well on the steering wheel and controls so will be able to control the, the productivity screen up there as well. You have for your climate control a single zone climate control that's standard equipment on these. And you do get for the audio system AM FM stereo with seven speakers this year, including a subwoofer. So they have upgraded the audio system for this year. And on the Big Ben trim, you also do get Sirius XM with 360L. So that's the 360L is uh, has listener profiles, a uh, nice uh, upgrades there to it, uh, some super categories, that kind of thing. Um, so it's real cool and how that works in this vehicle. You do get Sync 4 with the 8 inch LCD touchscreen. So Sync 4 is a nice upgraded system with automatic OTA updates, over the year updates for this. So that way it continuously uh, updates that system so you don't feel like you have to get new models every year uh, or every other year or something when they have a nice upgrade. It's gonna automatically get upgrade updated when it needs to. You do get wireless Android uh, uh, 
wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So this is uh, nice. Been able to do wireless Android Auto on Sync 3, but now the Apple products can get wireless uh, Apple CarPlay as well. For the mirror is a day-night mirror, so there's a little lever under there. You just flip it. Cars come behind you with those bright lights at nighttime. You can flip that mirror forward, uh, giving you that nice convenience. Uh, go to this 360 view. We do have overhead console uh, up here. It does have sunglass bin. It does have lights up here as well. So nice and easy to be able to get to. So map lights and sunglass bin. You do your visors here as well. Flip down. Uh, you do have a vanity mirror on the back side of those. Uh, you can flip it out so to protect it if you have sun coming in from the side as well. So it kind of swings over. And then moving down, see if we can see it here. You cannot see it on that image. On the console here itself, uh, we do have a center uh, floor console with the storage inside uh, with a PowerPoint in there. Uh, power windows are on the front part of that. So it does have auto one touch for those uh, all four of the windows on the four door versions. So nice and easy build to use those, uh, even the even the uh, two door versions as well. Uh, so they you just press just press it hard press it and they'll go down. So you don't have to hold them. So which is real nice as well as coming up. So up and down feature for that for all four of the windows. Uh, on the back of the console, and again can't really see it here. On the back of the console, you do get some USB smart USB ports and USB type A and type C on the back of the console. Also get power window switches for those windows on the back of those as well. Um, and then you'll see here uh, does have a leather uh, shift knob. So whether it be the manual or the automatic, so a leather shift knob as well there. You'll have a media bin under here. You won't see it. There's your goat mode switch, by the way. And the media bin is right up in there uh, with uh, two USB ports, a USB type A and C up there as well. Uh, locking glove box as well as a toolkit which I keep mine in my glove box. So it's a nice uh, Bronco toolkit that gives you most of the sockets and, and, and things that you might need to be able to uh, take the doors off on the on the go and some stuff like that. Uh, so nice little Bronco toolkit comes with it. And don't forget, you also get the Ford Pass Connect. That allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a, a free app you download, connect your vehicle, you can make and receive, or you can uh, unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. You can also uh, remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can schedule remote uh, start times, see that your tire pressure, fuel uh, that currently have on the vehicle, locate your vehicle uh, and such with that. So pretty nice app that you wanna download. It's the most used app of any other automaker out there. And it's a free app, so you don't have to pay for that service. And you're gonna get that with the vehicle. So I've covered all of the standard equipment so far. Let's talk about a package you might consider getting on yours as well as talk about some of the other mechanical features. So let's talk about probably the, the most important, not most important, but one of the most popular packages on the Big Ben Tram. And I think it's definitely worth the $1,500 upgrade, and that is the mid package. So mid package, what they coin uh, phrase it as the 222 a package um this is a great package i, I added this to mine because i just thought it was a no-brainer this was a, a a great definitely worth i think about all the features here uh if you think about just how much the navigation costs itself that's included in this package uh it's uh, i mean it's that's half the cost right there of this package so let's go through this package here you will get the two-door intelligent access with lock unlock so that means that the front doors as well as the rear swing gate uh, you just walk up with that key fob in your pocket. You just put your hands in a door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. There's little uh, ridges or little bumps on the back sides of those. You just press those. It's going to lock it as well. So intelligent access. Uh, I think that, that could almost be worth it to me for the convenience every time I have to go and get in the Bronco. Also, you get dual zone climate control. So driver and front patching have two different temperatures. Automatic temperature control. So that's pretty cool. Includes AC, it says there. Also, ambient lighting, ambient footwell lighting. So uh, when you get in the vehicle, illuminated entry lights up those uh, those lights inside on the, the map lights up there. But also now you're going to illuminate the footwells as well. Uh, I believe it's ice blue. I don't think you can change that color. I haven't even tried on mine, um, but it uh, should be ice blue for that. On the back of the console, you're going to get also a 110 outlet. So you're going to have the two USB ports and a 110 outlet. So you can plug in an outlet back there as well. Your uh, your rear view camera or rear view mirror, I should say, is going to go from a day night mirror with a little lever to an automatic dimming rear view mirror. So you don't have to touch it at all, and it's going to automatically dim that mirror with the cars coming behind you with those bright lights. Here's another feature that I fi fi find very convenient and I like. It is the front row heated seats. So the driver and front passenger will have heated seats as well. So there's the other half of that, in my opinion, for that. Uh, so that's real nice as well. Now your visors, we mentioned there's a vanity mirror under them. Now they're illuminated, so you can illuminate uh, the illuminated, so you can see nighttime or whatever. If you need to 
through your makeup or whatever you can do that or just check out how you look but whatever <laughs> you can you have that as well and you do get remote start with this so that it's available with the automatics it does require automatic transmission and you're able to remote start your vehicle when you're close enough proximity remember you can still use the re, the ford pass app to do that but now you're if you're close enough you can remote start it with an automatic transmission Rear reverse sensing system that goes along with your rear view camera so as you're backing up you're gonna be able to see behind you now you're gonna get alerted if you do get close, too close to anything. Um, now they're calling the rear parking sensors for this year instead of reverse sensing system. Uh, Sync 4 system with enhanced voice recognition system. You already get Sync 4, this upgrades it. So it gives you the digital owner's manual that's included within that. Gotta look at my notes here. Uh, also gives you the a conversational voice command. So this is where you can say, okay, forward, okay, forward, pass, and it starts to listen instead of having to press the button to talk to it. So that's a nice upgrade as well as cloud connected uh, and all those other features that come with it. So it's just enhances a little bit further there. And it says Ford Copilot 360. We already get most of the features as part of this, but it upgrades and gives you the bliss. Blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So when you're drive along there's someone in your blind spot it's gonna put a light in the corner of those uh, exterior mirrors and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time also as you back up cross traffic alert and it's included so if somebody comes behind you it's gonna alert you and let you know that it's not safe for you to back up uh, puts a bunch of tones you need to not you know not back up also if you look at the rearview camera it'll show you what direction they're coming from on the camera as well which is pretty cool and you also get the lane keeping system as part of the upgrade to this as well that allows you to be able to keep you helps keep you in the center of, and keep you in your lane not in the center of your lane but it helps keep you in your lane so it does have the uh, driver alert feature that alerts you if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often if you go to leave your lane you can either set it on the aid system or alert system or both and the alert system is going to do is it's going to vibrate the steering wheel when you get over to that line uh, whereas the aid system will help go over that line and bring you in. Uh, so now that's something you can activate during while you're with your cruise or without your cruise control. So even when your cruise isn't on, you can have that going if you're in town, something like that. And it helps keep you if you're not paying attention in your lane. And then you get the connected navigation system with a 90 day trial. This is basically means you do have to have a subscription for this. So it is, I think, I think it's $10 a month is what I pay for that. Um, and that gives you a lot of the great uh, features and having that on-screen navigation right there instead of having to plug your phone in or do the wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, one or the other, um, you have now have it on the screen as well. So uh, again, $14.95, that's a lot of features for that much. I think it's, uh, for me, it just, I, I wanted it because I wanted the, the heated seats, the intelligent access, I have it all that, um, those other features on there as well. I just thought that was just a nice upgrade for you. So there's a feature you can go with a package that you might consider. Another package that you might consider is the Sasquatch package. So if you plan to go off-road, this package gives you some great upgrades from the Big Ben trim. Uh, as we as we kind of uh, as you probably noticed, we had not talked about any kind of uh, front or rear locker locking differential. And uh, so this is a, a, a nice upgrade because you're going to get some upgrades to the wheel and tire, but also you're going to get th those upgrade uh, front and rear axle upgrade too. So uh, let's talk about this. So you have 17-inch black high-gloss painted alloy wheel, kind of see in the picture there. It does have the a warm uh, uh, alloy beauty ring, so it's a little different than that. That looks like that's the, the wild track wheel. So you're going to get a different ring on the outside, beadlock capable wheels as well. Uh, you're also going to get the, the tires that go along with that, mud terrain tires, 35-inch tires as well. So nice big off-road tire that comes along with that wheel combination. It does upgrade your suspension. So you have a high-clearance suspension as well as high-clearance fender flares. So it's a wider fender flares. Uh, a lot of times I call them the Sasquatch fender flares. I actually put those on mine uh, because I upgraded mine on my, on my own. But you have that on there as well. It gives you the bigger fender flares. They still kind of pop off like the others, but they're wider to cover that, air, that area a little bit and upgraded suspension also you get the 4.7 final drive ratio with the e-locker for the front as well as the rear so only way to get the front locker is with this package uh, so if you're wanting the front locker as well uh, you can get the rear locker we'll talk about that in optional equipment but the only way to get that front locker is with this package as well as getting the upgraded for the final drive a lot of people go for that package for this reason so if you plan to take this off-road quite a bit sasquatch package might be something that might be very valuable to you uh, so that can be added to your Big Ben trim. 
So let's talk about another package. Well, it's listed as a package. Um, some, I think, uh, consider it just a standalone option, but that is the tow capability here. Now, this is holding up build. So, in fact, uh, when you go to, come, we, we notice on our 23 orders that we've converted over, that it actually shows up as a notification that, hey, warning, this is holding up builds, and it will take longer to be scheduled. So keep that in mind. But let me tell you uh, why you may want to add this to your vehicle and the difference of adding it later. For one, this is going to give you the hitch. So include includes the two inch receiver hitch and gives you the four pin and seven pin wiring harness that is already wired in. So um, and you'll notice it's five ninety five. So it's much cheaper when going this route. If you add the hitch later, usually uh, from a dealer, you know, it's maybe like four ninety five for the hitch. But the wiring alone takes more than one hundred dollars to wire that in. Uh, because there's a lot that goes into it and you only get the four pin wiring, not the seven pin wiring. So keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully enough people will take this, uh, not have this on their build that it won't uh, affect those that really, really want it. Uh, but just so you know, if you do add it, that is a possibility. So just keep that in mind. Hey, we're going to start talking about some standalone options. We're going to start with some of the, the powertrain mechanical options first, and then we'll move down to the exterior and interior options here. So first of all, the course we already talked about 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine is standard as well as a seven speed manual transmission also is standard on this. Now you can upgrade on the 2.3 liter to the 10 speed automatic transmission. That's 1595 for that. As you can see there, you can also upgrade to the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. Now that EcoBoost engine, that 2.7 does require to have automatic. So if you do upgrade to that, you have to uh, pay for both the fee for going to automatic as well as the 1895 so if we actually add the 27 as you can see it'll take it to 3490 total for that so just keep that in mind if you go ahead and do that upgrade now let's talk about the different gear ratios down here and axle ratios so you kind of know what comes with what so the seven speed manual transmission is going to come with the 4.46 axle here if you do upgrade to the automatic transmission that's where you get the 373 so if i click on the 373 it'll tell me to add the automatic transmission there you go. See, so add automatic, remove the 4.6 and the manual. So we're going to do that. So then that's that's the gear ratio you're going to get. That's standard on the four point on the automatic transmission for you. Now, if you want to add the rear locker, now this is kind of the 4.7 uh, axle is the one you get with the Sasquatch package. So to add that, you have to go to the Sasquatch package to get it. Uh, and that's where you're going to also see the automatic, the four time drive that is also included with the Sasquatch package, just so you know that. Now, if I want to add the rear locker, you'll see that this 4.27 axle is $7.95. It's actually, that's the cost to get the, the rear locking differential. So when I add the rear locking differential, it's going to add $7.95 and also give me the, there you go. Also, it's going to give the, because I was on manual transmission, it gives me the 4.46. So I can add the rear locker with the 4.46, but if I want the automatic it'll tell me to switch the 4.27 axle. So that's kind of the what you know, what's going on there. So you are, uh, if your automatic transmission, the rear locking differential gives you the 4.27 axle, uh, you can still stay with the 4.46 and get the rear locker. So keep that in mind, you have to have something higher than, uh, you know, the 4.27 to have that, if, that rear locker on there. So that's kind of the breakdown on how that works. Uh, so that rear locker should be 795 for that option uh, down there. So let's move into some of the exterior uh, features now. All right, now we're going to start talking about some uh, standalone options for the exterior. And we're going to start and kind of go through these. Now this, uh, this wheel here is the Sasquatch wheel. It does require the Sasquatch package. Um, and I believe that's uh, this tire as well goes with the Sasquatch package. So moving on down, uh, talking about some roof options here. Now, uh, some of these options are, are require the hard top. So just keep that in mind. In fact, this first one, top retractable, um, the twill soft. So that is uh, that's available for you. It does require the hard top because it's saying it's an optional. So you can get the basically the hard top in this as well. So. Uh, you can get that option of adding that to it. So it does, uh, it's the best stop um, cover. It's a dealer installed option, so it would be delivered to the dealership. More than likely, the dealership would just give it to you because they wouldn't put it on because you already have the hard top on there. Uh, so again, not available to soft top and is uh, something, an option you would add if you had the hard top. So that's uh, available. And I'm going to check these off. And again, this is a dealer installed option, so it should be available through Ford Accessories as well. And I'll kind of note as we go through these, which ones are available that way. And that is one of them that, in fact, a lot of these you can get are available through Ford Accessories and you can add later if you want to. That one is going to be, again, 
sent to the dealership, you can just have it sent to you instead for the same cost. Now we do have this top mesh shade. Now this is available. Uh, I think it says it's available on the hard top. It is a dealer installed option um, the, and, and put on, but it's not available the soft top, but you can actually get this again through Ford Accessories if you want the soft top and add this to it. So uh, that is an option. In fact, the next one that I, it is one that I've actually added to mine and this is the Benemy top. So soft canvas, I actually have this on mine and I can actually put my soft top over it with that still in place. I don't have to remove it. And the other one should be the same way, but this does say again, not available with a soft top dealer installed option so sent to the dealership and the dealership would try to install it for you or you can install it yourself again you can get all these through ford accessories if you want uh, instead also uh, this this uh, top retractable front row so basically allows you to leave the first the back panel and on the four-door version have the front panel and then you have this top so again this is not available to claw top it is a dealer installed option so uh, sent to the dealership and just so you know that is available too uh, those are all your options there and again some of these require the the hard the four door so um you know just keep that in mind so um and let's see here some of these let me look at that that top so i think it's on the two door or four door version just it really depends we actually have the four door selected here but should be available on both so uh so you can see their front row overhead top panel so it's just removing that top panel so there you go. So those are your options for those. And then we do have the hardtop option. So you want to add that as a hardtop. So on the four-door configuration, if you want to add the hardtop, there you go, $695. So you're getting the soft top instead of the soft top, you're getting the hardtop. So that's why you're seeing uh, that smaller price there. So that's available for you. Of course, we already know not available because the two-door is already standard with that. And then you have the dual-top option, which I actually wanted on 21 when they mentioned it being an option dual top there requires four door you're going to get the hard top and probably what they'll do is i assume they're going to ship the soft top to the dealership and give it to you that way or to you and to your house that kind of thing but dual top is an option this year so you can get that if you have the hard top and you or you have the soft top four door you want it both you can get both so this year so that's pretty awesome and how that's uh, done there so dual tops is an option um, so there you go. So hopefully that means the hard tops are going to become available for us to, to order for those that, that went with just the cloth top in 21 and 22. All right. For the bumpers going down here, you do have the Ford Performance heavy duty modular front bumper. So I actually like that bumper. It does delete the fog lights. So keep that in mind. If you do go with this on the Big Ben trim, you lose your fog lights. Uh, but real cool, pretty cool modular front bumper that you can add to this. So that is an option for you. And when you do add this, you also get the steel bash plates as well. So you'll see that actually an option down here that's no price. That's because it, when you add this, it adds the steel bumper as well. So you get the steel uh, bash plate up there too. So if we take that off, should remove that as well. So there you go. Modular front bumper is an option for you. So where's that on my list? I'm uh, not sure where it's at, so we'll get to it here. <laughs> uh, but that is also available for you uh, if you want to go that route. So, And then you do have, if we move down, we do have the body armor protective moldings. A lot of these things, um, when we talk about these, again, are available through Ford Accessories. And some of these are put on at the factory, but they are an accessory. So the body armor here, uh, let me look at that. That one's actually a dealer installed option, so it will be shipped to the dealer ahead of time. And the dealership would install it. You can see those uh, right there. Uh, kind of an example of what that looks like and so that is available the dealership would install it for you um so you can kind of see they're made with the durable tpo thermoplastic uh oem a matte black light textured finish um so there you go so it's designed to complement the aero skin hood protector and work with the various fender flare styles which are sold separately uh it says no drilling necessarily it uses 3m adhesive for that so there you go dealer would install that for you uh, not available with your the um your appearance uh, kit here which we're going to talk about next so you have the body uh actually it's down here a little ways i guess uh but you do have this uh, fender flare kit that's optional for you so that's what they're kind of talking about they can go with that so a little different fender flare so you can get that one if you want to um and uh, that is also a dealer installed option so the dealership would install that for you uh not available with a sasquatch or your splash guards which again we're going to talk about next uh you can see there it's uh, available on the on the base big band black diamond requires two door it says uh for that uh, but although it's showing it on a four-door model so 
And why would it be? Actually, that's, I can't, I don't think that's a, a, available on two-door. Heritage Limited Edition requires a two-door, evidently, for that. But you can get it on the four-door version because it wouldn't be an option in here since we're on the four-door otherwise. <laughs> we do have the splash guards, so that is available for you. That is also going to be installed at the, at the uh, dealer, or at the factory, I should say. And can be put on it, not available with the Sasquatch package, or your tube step powder coated, which we're going to get to here in a little bit. Uh, but you can get the splash guards and again done at the factory instead uh, some models that's been holding up builds but not on the bronco so uh, we do have the tube doors we do have the four door and the two door uh, versions of this so if you want to get those they are a dealer installed option the dealership would give those send those to you and give those to you so you can put them on when you need to still going to get your regular doors as well uh, but then you can get the tube doors uh, to be added to it uh, as well so kind of cool especially if you're doing some off-roading you want to be able to see that but you don't want to feel like you're going to fall out you can add the tube door so you can see out there uh, real nice and easy there there you go all right the body appearance kit okay so this in here is uh, showing you right there it's giving you the hood scoop uh there it's giving you the door moldings getting you the fender flares for the two for two door or four door models uh, so kind of see what that body appearance kit looks like. So that's something you can also add. Not available to Sasquatch package, side steps, or your splash guards. Uh, because it does replace the fender flares as well. So there you go. So if we add this, what's it? Does it I think I, I added this on my base video. And um, actually, well, let me add it. And it didn't change the look. So actually, now it won't let me click on it for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, moving on, we do have some tire covers, a couple different options here. These are um, these are dealer installed options, so they're sent to the dealership ahead of time, and they can put it on. Again, get through Ford Accessories if you want to, uh, but these shouldn't be holding up builds. You have a couple different options. You do have an abstract Bronco, as you can see there, what that looks like. It's going to go over there. So, uh, of course, available, not available to Sasquatch package because of the size of the tire. And you do have the Bronco 66 on the back if you want established 1966 with the american flag that's an option too for you and then the last one there is the there you go is your uh ford uh tg stamping so there you go so those those are your options there for you if you want to get those wheel those tire covers again dealer installed options so they won't be put on the factory but they'll be shipped with uh they'll be shipped to your bra to your dealer ahead of time the cockpit cover is also a dealer installed option and you can put that on there so this comes in real handy especially if you take your you know your cover off your soft top or your hard top cover off and you're driving around and then overnight you want to protect it but you want to put them all back on you can just put this cover on there real quickly and then that way you have it on protects it overnight and such and then you take it back off the next day uh, so that way you don't have to put your uh, your covers right your hard covers right back on uh, which is a convenient thing to have so cockpit cover is available for you just uh, checking these off as we go through these um, so that is a dealer installed option they'll just give it to you and put it so you can put it in your vehicle and use it when you need to the roof rack rails with the crossbars that is actually going to be put on at the factory so that is a, an option for you uh, as you can say with your hard tops uh does require a hard top so two-door or four-door versions you can get those on there for you uh it says not available with okay that's on the badlands we won't get into that so there you go you have your refract rails there so those are ford accessories so you can get it later i will say they are um holding up i noticed when we ordered these for someone else it was over a month and they still didn't come in yet uh, we ordered them when their bronco was shipped out and by the bronco got here and they they weren't here yet so we'll tell you that if you are going to get these through accessories you want to order them ahead of time uh, of course requires a hard top or dual top uh, so uh anyway there you go and then you have the tube step powder coated here uh doesn't show on a price here for some reason uh let me see if there's a note here for that so that is um some of these are really hard to find in here. There we go. That is done at the factory. It's not available with the splash guards, um, but does require the mid package. And that's why we're not seeing a price here. So the tube step does require to have the mid package uh, if you want that. So let's go ahead and add the mid package so you can kind of see the pricing on that. So if we go ahead and add that mid package, just click on the corner. I know there's supposed to be a little add button, but there's not on that one. So now if we go down there to that, Keep going, keep going. There it is, $3.95 for that if you want to add that. And we do have this removable hoop step, which is cool. So I think it does actually give you the, the side rail there too and the steps. I don't know for sure, but uh, I like it. I'm thinking about ordering that from mine. Actually, I'm looking at this. Should be able to get that through Ford Accessories as well. 
and that their hoop step is going to be put on at the factory so factory installed option for you but you should be able to get that afterwards if you want to so available on the two-door or the four-door version there for the big bin on the base trim it was only available on the four-door version i believe all right so the tonneau cover the soft you can see what that looks like so basically you're putting it back there when you take that hard top off you can uh, kind of cover that up so people can't get into that and and see things or just kind of protect it from the elements that way so that is a, an available option for you and this here um, is a tunnel cover there it is it is a dealer installed option so it'll be shipped to the dealer ahead of time you can kind of tell a lot of these which ones are going to be dealer installed or things that you can put on later are usually the dealer, dealer installed options um, and then the uh, some of the ones that you can tell uh, probably should come from the factory you can kind of tell that and speaking of that we do have the brush guard so brush guard is a factory installed option so there you go you can add that it does require the modular front bumper so that Ford Performance front bumper, uh, but that brush guard is something we can add to the vehicle. It is a an accessory, so it should be able to get that through Ford Accessories if you want to, but would be put on the vehicle at the factory. Wheel lock kit, that is a dealer installed option. Uh, it does replace uh, one of the, your lug nuts on all your wheels and replaces it with a locking one, including one for your spare. So that way, because on the spare, it goes on there and you can use one of those to lock that down so they can't get the even access to your spare that way too. So there you go and then engine block heater that is a factory installed option you'd want to get that done at the factory so engine block heater uh, cold weather states that kind of thing you want to be, keep it warm so it uh, starts up real nice and easy in the mornings uh, then engine block heater is something you want to make sure you add and again um, that is a factory installed option keyless entry keypad so if you want to add that too it is body colored for this year uh, mine's uh, the molded in black instead, so that's what that's going to look like. You can add that. That is also, I um, believe that's a Ford accessory, but it is put on at the factory for you. Um, you do have the LED uh, tail or LED signature lighting, so uh, upgrades. So this is where um, I kind of like this because on the black diamond and the beige, this isn't an option, but on the Big Ben, it is. And one of the reasons why I decided to go with the Big Ben versus the black diamond for me was this is one of the deal breakers i wanted that led light in there so it gives you the led light on the outside so that, that light there is still going to be there it's the outer ring that you're going to get that's led right there so that's going to be uh, for, uh included there and that is a factory installed option uh, that is not an accessory you can add later so there you go so those are all our exterior options let's move on to our interior options now now, moving on to the interior options, one of the things I forgot to mention is standard equipment. You do have two different color interiors available for you. Uh, I didn't mention that when we got to the interior, but you do have the uh, black onyx, and then you also have the this with the medium sandstone if you want those. So two different options there for you and see what that kind of looks like on the vehicle. So again, so that's a, an option for you, uh, for you. But again, it's not really... I don't normally don't cover that with interior options. I usually cover that as uh, the um, standalone options, but... There you go. No charge for either of those two colors there. Now, moving down, we do have some couple different cargo areas. The rest of these interior options mostly have to do with the rear cargo area, but there are a couple on the inside as well uh, for you to kind of protect your floor liners and that kind of thing. So the cargo area, storage, fixed lid. Now, this is a available for you. Now, this is a dealer installed option, so would come to the dealership ahead of time. You can see in there, it is a fixed uh, lid right there so that you can't lift that up and it kind of actually you can see the surrounding as well kind of puts that in there so really kind of protects it so if you have that locked even if they can pull those seats forward they can't get to anything inside there so it's kind of a nice storage area and almost a kind of a uh, nice little um, fixed area for you to be able to put things in back in there so uh, there you go that is not available just so you know they're not available with the sasquatch package um not sure why on that Somebody else can tell me that. It's more educated than me. <laughs> they can tell me that. Uh, slide out tailgate, not available with that. Cargo air protector because of the bolts in here. Uh, not available with the slide out tailgate uh, or the black diamond uh, for some reason. I'm not sure on the black diamond either. Four door black diamond. So it's not available with some of those. But uh, so there you go. So uh, cargo area fixed lid right there. And then let me look at my notes just to make sure we don't have any other uh, question, any other, anything else. So for the big bin trim, it is saying not available with the slide out tailgate and the cargo area protector. It doesn't say anything else about any of the others, although it does say not available with Sasquatch here, but does not give me a note on that on here. So it might be something you can just check with your dealer and they might be able to tell you whether or not they can add it as an option with the Sasquatch when they go to order it for you.
You do have the cargo area storage with a raised lid. So look at this one here. So again, that gives you the sides as well. But now you do have the hydraulic for that to be opened up for you. So you can open up uh, when you have that tailgate open. So uh, again, that's the same way on this one here. Uh, this one does require the four-door version and uh, four-door configuration. Not available to slide out tailgate or the cargo area protector either. Then you do have the cargo area storage drawer. So this drawer is pretty cool, actually. I actually am a little jealous of that. So it's pretty nice. Does require the four door and is not available to slide out tailgate or the cargo area protector, but that can be added as well if you want from. And these are dealer installed options. So they would go to the dealer ahead of time and the dealership would install that for you at no charge. And then you do have the cargo area protector. I actually been talking about that a little bit. So you can kind of see what that looks like. Cargo air uh, protector there uh, is available for you. That is um, that looks like that is actually a Ford accessory, so it will be given it will be given to you with the vehicle. So it'll be put in the vehicle for you. And uh, this is not available with the slide out tailgate, uh, just for your information, but available on either door configurations. There, you do have these assistance kits, an on road and an off road here. And again, these can be purchased through Ford Accessories, real easy. Basically, it's called a dealer installed option because really what they're going to do is they're going to actually add, put all these things that come in a box and put them in the bag for you. That's basically what they're doing <laughs> and then putting it in your vehicle. But it will be shipped to the dealer ahead of time. Off-road kits the same way. You can kind of see what some of those things are and how, what that bag looks like. Uh, so that's available as well for you. Again, you can get that through Ford Accessories uh, as well there. And then moving down, you have the first aid kit. It is going to work just like the other two as well. Again, coming in the box. They're going to put it in the, the little package for you, a little bag, and put it in your vehicle for you. Again, that, that is also a dealer installed option too. Uh, moving down, you do have auxiliary switches. This is a factory installed option. So this is going to give you those auxiliary switches pre-wired for you and pre-ran uh, into uh, so that yeah, way you can wire in those any, the, any kind of light kits and such like that into these and some other accessories. Uh, so that is going to go ahead in the overhead console. You lose a sunglass bin. Uh, for that but uh, I did add that to mine and I really like uh, made sure I had that on there so you can see in here sunglass bins there uh, but you add the auxiliary switches it's going to be in place of that sunglass bin so there you go done at the factory all right and then moving down you have your floor liners you have one with carpeted mats and without carpeted mats so uh, whether it be the two-door or the four-door conversion or configuration I should say uh, that is available for you so floor liners again they're gonna those will ship with your vehicle so they'll be in it and the dealership would put those in it uh, in place for you uh, it does delete your carpeted your um, your carpet floor mats as well um, so you know if you have the one with the floor mats you're gonna still get your floor mats if you get the one without you will not get floor mats so if that makes sense and then you do get upgraded front and rear carpeted mats. As we mentioned, standard equipment is just front carpeted mats. If you go with this and you get upgraded floor mats, they're going to be a little bit different. And you get them for the rear as well. So that would be a way, if you like carpeted mats, that would be an option you might want to add to your vehicle. So, And again, that's going to be uh, being sent to uh, with a vehicle from the factory that way. So, And, oh, there's a note there. Replaces carpet mats and not available with the floor liners. Makes sense. Slide out, tailgate. So there, we've been talking about that, that some things aren't available with this. You can see why it kind of puts that, raises that up. So that's why those other kits won't fit on there. Slide out tailgate if you want that. So that's available. And that is a um, that is going to be put on the vehicle at the factory. Uh, it is a Ford Accessories, though, um, and they'll put it in for you. Requires a four-door, not available with the Sasquatch package, and not available with the dual tops. Prevents, uh, does, uh, does also... Uh, says that it does not allow you for the on the vehicle storage of the doors. Um, I think it just kind of brings them up, and maybe that's what they're saying. Uh, so then maybe it brings them up a little too high. Probably could put them in there, but I'm not sure. Anyway, there you go. That's a slide out tailgate is available. The cargo net kit is also available, and this is also Ford accessories uh, for you. So it is gonna that will come to the dealership ahead of time. The dealership would put it in the vehicle for you. You can you can kind of see what that does there for you. It should be available on the four door and the two door configuration. No restraints there on anything. You have the cargo area rug. You can see what that looks like. That is available as well on the two door or four door, and it's a dealer installed option, so it would be shipped to the dealership ahead of time. Uh, moving on down, you do have the storage doors uh, or storage bags for the doors. Um, 
actually not showing you really an image of it. You can kind of see the bags back here that especially on the four door uh, models, this allows for them to be stored on the vehicle uh, just like this. So the, that's pretty cool having that. So it does require the four door configuration. So not available with the two door and does require the soft top um, as well. Uh, because I think because the hard top maybe would interfere with those and not be able to go down. Not sure, but it's saying it does require the soft top as well for that. And then you do have this one right here. Um, oh, I know why. Actually, it's not because it can't fit. It's because there's a different option if you have the hard top, which is the next one. Storage bags for the front row, top panels, and door. So basically, you get the front row top panel storages that's why you see it's the same price you just would choose this option instead if you have a hard top so you choose one of those options for that for the same configuration there for those uh, doors and again does require the four door configuration there so you just choose one or the other depends on if you have the cloth top or the hard top um, and same price though on them tailgate table you can see what that looks like so that's going to go well on the tailgate so there you go that is available for you um, that is uh, let me find that one here I believe that is a Ford Accessories um, option there for you. And uh, if I look for the right one, there you go. That is a, a dealer installed option. So not available with the slide out tailgate though, by the way. Um, but that would be shipped ahead of time to the dealer and a dealership would install that for you. And we do have the storage roof bags for the second row panel. So for the four door configuration, um, you can get these extra storage bags for that middle row because that's one piece across there and that's a bag for that one piece that doesn't come in. So it's not four pieces for those panels. It's two in the front and one long one in the second row. So for the four door models, you can get the extra storage bags for that. Um, make sure, and that's going to be shipped to the dealership ahead of time. I think it's maybe even listed as a Ford accessory. I'm not seeing it in here. Anyway, so there you go. Oh, there it is. So. That is a dealer installed option should ship ahead of time. Along with this one, the safety deposit console uh, lockbox. So you can see right there. So the dealership would install that for you. It's available on two door or four door. For some reason not available to Sasquatch package. Don't know why, but there you go. You can add that if you want and the dealership would install that for you. So there's all those options. Also down here, there is um, an option for, there we go. The connected built-in navigation we talked about on the mid package. <clears throat> that you can get the built the connected navigation comes with three months of subscription and then you have to pay for it after that this one here if you add this option you're basically prepaying for three years of service so you're getting the navigation uh as well and now you're getting it for um three years uh so you're just paying in a sense paying ahead of time for that uh that option there so that is also going to be come from the factory as well so let me make sure i got everything um one of the things that I did, uh, you can't see on this is because it requires a two door version. Go to that and go into it and on the interior. And that is the, um, the cargo area storage trunk. So this in here is a little different because it does, uh, that is only available on the two door version, but you get this little trunk here, uh, that's available. Uh, keep in mind that it requires two door and is not available with the cargo area protector, uh, on the vehicle. So I think I've got everything else covered. looks like it. Um, there is one other, a couple other options that aren't listed in here. One of them is the front license plate bracket. Uh, and I say that it's an option because if you live in a state that doesn't require a front license plate, it is, it is a standalone option. No cost option. Dealer would install it, but no charge to you. Uh, but if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, that's going to be standard equipment. It'll come with it. Uh, but just keep that in mind. We are in a state that doesn't. So anybody, anytime we work with somebody out of state, I like to ask them and say, okay, we need to add that front license plate bracket for you then. And the other thing that's not mentioned in here is the navigation removal. So uh, the reason it's on the order guide is, as an option is if they have any kind of constraints like they had in 2022, they may add that as required option. So it is on the order guide, but you're not showing on your building price because at this current time, it is not required to put on the vehicle. So, but if any time they have any kind of microchip issues again, they may uh, put that as an option and remove the navigation. And so they have it in the order guide just in case for that reason. So there you go, there you have it. That's all of our standard equipment, different packages, standalone options, uh, break it down. I know I kind of made that kind of a lengthy video and some of that stuff, you know, you click on the eye, you get a little more information there, but some of those things that we could say, we could see were not 100% accurate. So going through to and letting you know, you know, which of those are dealer installed options and which are not. So again, if you click on the eye, it should tell you which of those are dealer installed options. And that's usually also a clue to you that that's something you can get through Ford Accessories and install yourself if you'd like. 
um, and not take a chance to hold up your build. So we haven't seen a lot of those holding up builds. It's more of the some of the other constraints with some of the configurations for you know the upper trims. Big Ben is one of those that you can get pretty quick. So you can get it turned and get it quick. Even the two-door Big Bens, we're seeing those scheduled pretty fast. Um, and so that is this is a, a, a trim there that's very easy to get, get and get quickly. So if you're wanting to find a Bronco, uh, you're wanting to get one, and you're not doing a lot of off-road you know, things, Big Ben trim is a great trim for you to give you that option. But you can still, of course, take it off-road. It's very capable of that. Uh, uh, especially if you add the rear lockers to that on an automatic, uh, then you can, or on the manual, either one, then you can take that off road and give you that, some of that capabilities that you need, uh, having that rear locker on there. So again, uh, hopefully this, uh, helps you out, gives you some information on whether or not the big Ben trim is going to be best for you. And, uh, keep in mind right now, uh, uh, what you're able to do is we're not able to order the 23s yet. Uh, for new orders, but if you had a 22 that's being converted, you can change it and choose this trim and choose your options here. So hopefully the video helps out for those people and for those should be able to order a 23 here pretty soon. So hopefully this helps you out, get you ready and prepped uh, to go so you know how you want to order it. You can actually go in, in here, build out how you want to and go down to the summary. I'll go down here to the summary and you can print that you can share it with your dealer and they have your configuration so that when those order banks do open up you can get that order in quickly for you uh, so uh, but so hopefully your local dealer uh, can do that for you so if you're struggling to find a good local dealer that's honoring MSRP pricing that's honoring knows how to do price protection and everything else like that and honor that then Law MacArthur can help you out if you'd like to so you can always uh, send that uh, information to us if you'd like well, as I mentioned we're doing MSRP pricing on all of our ordered Broncos uh, we have a $500 dealer fee and nothing else added to it. Uh, we don't add any kind of appearance package or anything as uh, required. That is really up to you if you want to purchase it, just like with any of the other factory options as well. It's really up to you. Same way in aftermarket ads. Uh, that is really at, at your call. It should not be required. Uh, so we're a dealership that does not do that to you. Uh, and we know how to uh, honor price protection as well as honor those locked-in incentives and, and different things like that, as well as any price protection from one model year to the next. We know how all that works here at Law MacArthur. So if you want to work with us, feel free to do that. We do have a special YouTube offer. If you want, uh, if you're a little ways away from us, uh, out of state, and we do free shipping. Uh, we do require you finance it with us and we will cap that at $1,000. So we will uh, cover the first $1,000 of the shipping cost if you finance with us at standard rates. Uh, that's kind of how that deal works. Uh, and so feel free to do that if you want to reach out to us and do that. And again, you can send us your build right through there. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video, helped you out, gave you some information and maybe found a dealership that can help you out with your Bronco order. Feel free to reach out to us. We do, uh, we already know our allocations for next year and I can say we can take several orders, quite a few orders and be able to get those built within this model year. Uh, so uh, we have uh, our carryover units are about half of what our allocations are. So we are good to go and we can take new 23 orders and get them allocated and get yours built and scheduled in this model year which is really good news to hear uh, right now as we're seeing a lot of those getting carried over we should be after the end of 23 pretty even there on that so you should be able to do that so again thanks for watching this video hope you liked it if you did smash the like button if you want to don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified next time we have another video upload to our YouTube channel. You can find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We do a lot of fun stuff on all those social media sites, including a Facebook Live every uh, Thursday night at 6 p.m. on our Law MacArthur uh, Facebook page. So definitely check that out if you want to. It's a full hour of just, you know, uh, rapid fire Q and A there, where I answer any questions you might have when it comes to production information, product information, uh, in there, and I'm on the host that, as well as don't forget on uh, on our YouTube channel on Tuesday nights we do a live stream where I actually go in more in depth. I answer questions at the end, but the first part of the episode we always talk about what's new, what's different, what news updates we have. We go over uh, scheduling information, everything in those videos as well. So you might want to check those out. Uh, so yeah, so definitely make sure you're. Uh, uh, get everything you know notified there all the the youtube the facebook everything right there she so can stay up to date on anything that we do here on, at law macarthur and if you want to check, make sure you always stay up to date you can follow me on my social media links uh, there's my link tree account that has all the links to all the different places you can find me there um and uh you can get connected with me as well so again thanks for watching this video hope you liked it and until the next one we'll see you later